Joining us is the Queensland Premier, Stephen Miles. Premier, good to have you with us this morning. Thank you so much. So let's start off with that operation. How many extra police are we actually talking about here, given that resources are so stretched at the moment? Well, the number will, be, will depend on the risk identified by the police, but what they assure me of is that they have the numbers and the resources to deliver on a big ramp up of this operation. So we've been trialling this high intensity, high visibility policing, and it has proven effective. And so we're expanding it, massively expanding it with Operation Whiskey Legion. It's about getting police into regions using intelligence to predict future crime hotspots, intervening early, identifying risky offending and getting in there with those offenders before their offending escalates. As I say, it's proven effective already. We've seen a turning of uh, a turning of crime statistics in 12 of our 14 regions, but we have a long way to go and that's why we're really ramping this up. They'll be bolstered by all of the extra police coming through the academy right now. OK, moving forward, will you remove detention as a last resort? Well, that's uh, not our intention because the experts and the evidence tell us that that could make things worse. That criminalising low-level offenders, putting them in with higher-level offenders, more violent offenders, older offenders, offenders who might already be in gangs, leads to more crimes. So our focus is on this prevention and intervention work and using the intelligence that the police have to intervene as early as possible to stop offending from escalating, to stop as many crimes from occurring as possible. OK, so you're ruling out a change? It's certainly not our intention to change that okay. provision. But intentions change, right? Intentions change, advice. do they not? Uh, look, uh, I know what advice I have right now. We always take the advice of our police and the advice of the evidence, and that's what we're basing our decisions on. We have evidence that this high-intensity visible policing works, and so we're doing more of it. All right. Are you keeping the door open? Because last month you were fighting to keep it in. No, there's, there's no intention there to make changes. Uh, what we're told is that if you detain low-level offenders and younger offenders with higher-level offenders, those who might already be in gangs, you risk making it worse.